The purpose of this video is to show you how you can use a teleport script inside an object to teleport users inside your world to different areas. Now, you can use things called landmarks to simplify this, and certain viewers will actually allow you to click on a landmark inside an object and teleport you there, and that's actually the way the Singularity Viewer works. However, for the sake of, of this video, I want to show you how you can place a teleport script inside a object or prim and have visitors touch that object and teleport them to a different area. Now, the very first thing that you want to find is a teleport script. Uh, for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using a teleport, a example teleport script found on Open Sims website. And the very first thing that I want to do is they supply us with a code in order to place in our script. So we're going to highlight that code. We're going to right click and we're going to copy. Next, I'm going to bring our sim on a stick environment back up here. And we are going to go into our inventory uh, and right click on our scripts folder and click new script. And I'm actually just going to call this teleport. Uh, next, we're going to right click and open our teleport script. And here's where we're actually going to paste the contents of what we just copied from the open sim environment. And a couple things before we get into our coordinates and other things that we need to put into our script. A lot of times you can find out what you need to edit in a script by looking at the comments. And you can tell which lines are comments by looking for these two double slashes here. For the sake of this video, I'm going to kind of simplify this process a little bit and tell you exactly which lines have to be edited. Now, what I like to do is go to the exact area that I want our script to teleport people to. So this is where our visitors are going to end up. And Right now, I am standing in the area that, that I want them to end up in. So for the sake of this video, um, we're going to end up at Simonistic 1 and the XYZ coordinates of 134, 203, and 126 after they click on our object with our script inside of it. Now, we need to input some of that information actually into our script here. So the first line that we're going to want to edit is called the string destination line. And we're actually going to put our area name in there, which for the sake of this video is Simonistic1. And next we are going to go about two lines below our string destination line and go to our vector landing point and put in our XYZ coordinates. So our first XYZ, or excuse me, X coordinate is 134. Our second is 203. And our last is 126. Now, there is, we actually got an extra one in there. There is one other line you could edit, but for the sake of this video and keeping this simple and short, we're going to leave it at that. We are going to click Save now. And we've got our teleport script ready to go. Now, we're actually on a platform that I've created for uh, our students at our school to build objects on. Um, I want students to be able to teleport up to this platform from down below on the main land. So right now I'm going to drop down to that main land and as with most scripts they have to be placed in an object to be live or placed in what they call a prim to be live. So our next step is I'm going to click on our build menu and render a square inside our world. Now um, we're going to get our an inventory window up and we've got our nice teleport script there ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our object, click open, and we are going to drag our teleport script in there. And we should see, at least in the singularity viewer, it shows that there is a teleportal active. Not really sure exactly what that means, but essentially I think it's recognizing that we've placed a script inside the object. So we're going to close these windows. And you can tell the script is live as we move our cursor over the object, you're going to see that it changes into a finger that tells us we can click on the object. And when we click on our object now, we should be successfully teleported to our platform, which we were. So that's how you implement a teleport script inside an object, inside a open sim or sim on a stick world.